welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Our mission is to educate people about both the Holocaust and slavery with the intention of avoiding those kinds of things in the future, avoiding genocide, uh, avoiding the enslavement of people, really teaching people acceptance of each other, uh, no matter what the differences are. Tell me a little bit about the event that took place as well as the art exhibit that we're looking at. It's an annual event that we're doing called Embracing Our Differences, and uh, it's an outdoor art exhibit which uh, celebrates our diversity. It, uh, promotes cultural understanding, and it tries to build values that respect human dignity. When we initiate the uh, call to artists each year, we encourage artists to do work which teaches about cultural understanding, and it also uh, expresses the emotions of someone who has been the victim of prejudice, um, and, and expresses the ideals of how people envision the world to be. I'm really into like photography. I'm not a very good painter, but I do love taking pictures. It's a bunch of crayons, and they're all like you're zoomed in, and there's a few like misplaced, they're not all on the straight line. And there's a quote on top just talking about embracing your differences. Crayons are all different colors, and when you're growing up, you everyone's like coloring with all different ones. So I kind of saw it and I was like, oh, put it all together. We had a diversity project for media arts, so I I was looking through all my photos and I found a picture I had taken like the summer before of these two boys like on the dock. I never really like, expected it to be here because I just thought it was like my teacher was going to see it so it was really cool. Diversity is a very important factor to me because in my school it's not very diverse and I kind of miss that element because I used to go to a different school and there were tons of people from everywhere around, different cultures and everything. When I came here it's just kind of the same. And by being a part of this, I feel like I'm kind of putting myself back into that element. My artwork is a piece where just a school, whole entire school of fish is colorized individually. And each fish is different and unique. And that kind of represents a school environment. So it basically shows how different ethnicities blend together in a school to form one. For thousands of years, people have not embraced their differences. They've taken their differences and used it as reasons for war and genocide and segregation. My artwork is earth, but um, it looks like a yin and yang symbol um, where um, the different continents, um, based on where they're positioned in relation to them, the symbol are either black or white and some of them are mixed. The more our cultures intermix and um, work off each other, the less relevant our geographic position in the world is going to be or our, our ethnic background and we're just going to be people living in the world together. Our design is comic strip inspired so you'll see something that looks like comic book cells. It's a quote from Martin Neimoller and what it talks about is during Nazi Germany all the groups of people that were persecuted and that nobody really took a stand and then eventually they found out that they were the next group that was going to be persecuted. The first thing before embracing is recognizing. You know, so if you're not quite at a point where we're going to embrace differences, at least recognize that we have differences, um, learn to be appreciative of other people's differences, respect those differences, you know, have patience with people. I think that's a big thing. And then once you kind of have all those bases covered, then you can move more towards a position of embracing those differences and celebrating, you know, what's unique about each individual. I'm double. That, that, is, that means, how are you in Swahili? I'm from Kenya, and we speak Swahili in Kenya. So you answer back and you say, Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Oliver is tremendously dedicated to, to the human rights cause, and he's experienced what it's like to live in a country where there is ethnic hostilities, where one cannot uh, pursue one's goals and, in a free society and uh, he had to, to leave and come here and, and seek political asylum, and I thought his, his story is very compelling. We've had a number of venues borrow the exhibit uh, to put them up, you know, Syosset High School, Longwoods Middle School, uh, Hofstra University, the Wong Center, Suffolk Community College, uh, downtown Riverhead, uh, uh, Village of Patchogue. So it's been in quite a number of places, but we've, we've also um, 
added some opportunities this year to make it a little easier for those for them to be borrowed in that we've printed a, a selection of them uh, in a smaller size, about four feet by five feet, so that uh, venues that, that can't put it up, that might only have an indoor space, uh, can also borrow them.